How's it going? I'm gonna do some vlogging. Um, I didn't record any content for the garden this last week. The kids were sick and then they got me sick. I'm just now starting to get over it. You'll probably still hear it in my voice a little bit. My ears are plugged. It's it's been it's been hell of a time. We had some casualties with the seedlings um, and some other unfortunate circumstances. I officially pulled the plug on my Katarina cabbage. It um it just wasn't having a good time, and so I took the space and gave it to something else. This is what remains of one of the invincible tomatoes. I um, woke up one morning and it was just parallel to the counter. And I was very confused because it was the strongest plant. It was the one without the stake, if you saw in the last video, the one I put the stake in. And as of lately, this is the one with the stake. It's just getting so big that it's touching the lights and it's scorching the lights. So far, I think it's doing okay-ish. It's not a fan of the close lights. I'm still trying to figure out another situation for lighting. Um, this is the, this is literally, it is Sunday at 6 p.m. This is the first time I have touched these plants or anything besides maybe like light watering since last Sunday when I planted the greens outside, which I'll show you those. Those are actually looking really nice. Now let's bring you up here, actually. I just don't want to move them. So here we go. Peppers are looking a little leggy, but fine. I had to add some support to more. Um, our basil's looking phenomenal. Our cabbage, this is our China star cabbage. I think it's looking pretty damn good since there's two plants in here. Um, I'm going to get these outside or up potted pretty pretty soon because yeah they're um, they're looking a little root bound honestly. And these are our orange hat tomatoes. Orange hat tomatoes. These guys are kind of impressing me with how much they've grown when there's four plants in here. So we will be up potting those today. Just hopefully that they'll survive after that. And yeah, these four peppers back here. This is the time bomb. This is also a time bomb. That's jalapeno. And I believe this is also a jalapeno. These are looking dry. I just do it. Oh, this is our bell pepper, actually. Um, cayenne. This is our ground cherry. I was, this morning, I, I didn't have any much hope because this morning this was actually parallel with the, um, the fridge. Stuck a toothpick in there just to kind of give it some um, stability, so we'll see how that does. But that's how the rest of the seedlings are looking. I'll also do a round of fertilization tonight now, so. I don't know if I showed this off, but I got a little fan. Oops. Got a little fan to kind of give them a little bit of a breeze to help them, their little stalks get used to the uh, wind outside. And we're officially gonna call it on our tomatoes, seedlings. Yeah, half of it's molded, or very mildewy moldy, and it's been a month now. It's been a month now since we planted these, so we're gonna call it and then start some new ones. We're also gonna start some of our uh, brassicas and our roots today. So let's get to it. After I was done um, starting the newer seeds and I tried to up pot these orange hats, but I forgot that they were in that little seed pellet thing. So it was like impossible to separate them. So I just, I cut my loss and decided to thin it down just to the strongest looking one. Here we're doing some beets. These uh, seeds were pelleted and I didn't think they were. So it was definitely pretty strange to see that, but I'm hoping they turn out pretty good. Kohlrabi, turnips. I also did some collard, some kale, some uh, Swiss chard, and a few other of my brassicas, but my GoPro didn't capture it. Um, after a good fertilization, I just set everything up. So that big plant in the middle, yeah, this guy, that's a tomato plant I had literally bought from Lowe's that day. It was uh, pretty impulsive, but 
I wasn't able to do much in the garden uh, the following few days because we had several days of storms and tornado watch. Um, and like any good Midwesterner, I stood out my front door and watched. Water is and here we go. I'm finally able to get out in the backyard and garden. Um, I also picked up some cabbages, some collard greens, and some romaine lettuce uh, transplants from Lowe's that same day. Um, just threw it all in there. We're gonna see how it takes. There's the cabbages right there. They're so cute. And here's the ones I direct sewed in the last video. I honestly don't remember which is which, so I'm gonna have to look at my app again, but I'm sure we'll find out more. I think those are the radishes. That might be lettuce. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, I've noticed I'm very aloof when it comes to these things, and I should definitely like write some of this thing write some of this stuff down even. Here's that husky red cherry tomato. I had to kind of jerry-rig this lighting situation because yeah, that my poor invincible tomato plant was getting scorched. So have it propped up pretty high. This is very temporary. I'm our, uh, our last frost is coming up here and I don't know, a few weeks actually, but the 10 day forecast has been looking really good. It's been barely under freezing the past few days, so I might be able to move out all my peppers and tomatoes sooner rather than later. And here in the next few days, I'm hoping to start some peas outside because that's one thing I'm really looking forward to. But that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>